Experiment number 45. Determination of dissolved oxygen level in water by Winkler method. The aim of this experiment is to determine the level of dissolved oxygen in a sample of water using the Winkler method. Introduction Dissolved oxygen level is an important parameter used to measure the quality of water. Dissolved oxygen level is used to determine if a water body is suitable for the existence of aquatic organisms by observing if a water body is aerobic or anaerobic. The reactions that take place in this experiment are given below. The chemicals needed for this experiment are 4 moles per cubic decimeter potassium iodide in 8 moles per cubic decimeter sodium hydroxide, 3 moles per cubic decimeter manganese chloride, 50% sulfuric acid, starch indicator, 0.18 moles per cubic decimeter sodium thiosulfate and 0 0.00167 moles per cubic decimeter potassium iodate. The equipment required are titration flask, pipette, burette, stoppered bottles, eyedropper pipette and burette stand. Now let us see how this experiment is performed. First, we will standardize the sodium thiosulfate solution. For this, we will add 10 milliliters of potassium iodate, 1 milliliter of sulfuric acid, and 1 milliliter of potassium iodide to a titration flask, and keep the solution in the dark for 5 to 10 minutes. After that, we will titrate the solution with sodium thiosulfate till a pale yellow colour is obtained. Then a few drops of starch solution is added and the titration is continued until the solution becomes colourless. Now the burette reading can be taken. Now we will perform the experiment to determine the dissolved oxygen level of a pond water sample. Before collecting the sample, rinse the bottle twice with the water sample. After rinsing, slowly fill the bottle, taking care to avoid air bubbles being introduced into the water sample. Then place the stopper of the bottle. Immediately after obtaining the water sample, introduce 1 ml of manganese chloride and 1 ml of potassium iodide. This must be done by dipping the tip of the pipette into the water sample.
Then add 1 milliliter of sulfuric acid to the fixed water sample. Then invert the sample bottle a few times. Even though we perform this experiment under laboratory conditions, steps up to this point have to be done at the site of sampling and the water sample has to be collected directly from the water body being analysed. Afterwards, take 25 milliliters of the water sample and titrate it with the standardised sodium thiosulphate solution using starch as the indicator. When the solution is pale yellow in colour, the starch indicator is added. Titration is performed till the colour changes from blue to colourless. The end point has been reached. The burette reading can be taken now. Now let us determine the dissolved oxygen level of tap water using the same method as before. Add manganese chloride and potassium iodide to the sample. Then add 50% sulfuric acid. Then invert the bottle several times to dissolve the flock. Take 25 milliliters of the sample and titrate it with the standardized sodium thiosulfate solution. When the solution turns pale yellow, add a few drops of the starch indicator. Continue the titration till the solution becomes colourless.
the end point has been reached. The buret reading can be taken now. The results obtained for the standardization of sodium thiosulfate solution and sample analysis are shown in the tables given here. Calculations The reactions that occur when standardizing the sodium thiosulfate solution are given here. The number of iodate moles can be calculated using its concentration. Since the ratio between iodate and thiosulfate is 1 to 6, the concentration of thiosulfate can be calculated as given here. The dissolved oxygen level of pond water can be calculated using the method given here. After obtaining the volume of sodium thiosulfate using the buret reading, the moles of thiosulfate can be calculated using its concentration. Since the ratio between oxygen and thiosulfate is 1 to 4, the dissolved oxygen level of pond water can be calculated as given here. The dissolved oxygen level of tap water can be calculated using the same method as before, as shown in this slide here. The conclusions obtained from this experiment are that the dissolved oxygen level of the pond water that was tested was 5.44 mg per litre and that the dissolved oxygen level of the tap water that was tested was 13.06 mg per litre.